All right, Khan Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. We also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, what are brothers from the Great Millstone branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Howard Kakwadash. And uh, the title of this lesson, Lord's Will, is going to be Why the Fuck You Worrying? All right, pretty plain, blunt. All right, why the fuck are you worrying? Right, because in this faith, all right, Having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we should have a stable mind, all right? We shouldn't be worried about uh, the cares of this life, all right? Or getting caught up with those things. Not saying that you don't take care of your responsibilities, but it shouldn't be a sense of worry, all right? We should have a comfort in knowing that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is in control of everything. And I know that times where I may feel like I'm worrying or getting too caught up with things of this world is because uh, of me not being in tune with the spirit. All right, focusing on the scriptures, maybe not reading enough or being whatever the case may be. All right, not sowing to the spirit as much as I can. All right, or just losing sight, man. All right, losing sight of uh, making sure that we're uh, maintaining our faith and the goal at hand, you know. So really in this faith, man, the only people that should be worrying is the people of this world that's not serving you. How about Shemiah was All right, they have something to worry about because them not serving the Lord is going to bring them great destruction. But us fearing and walking in the fear of Yahweh Shemi was is going to give us a great reward to where we don't have to worry about uh, uh, the ends, worry about any bullshit, man. All right. But you can you can go ahead. I got something for real. just be just because on the point that you said that uh, uh, why the hell are you worrying it? If you if you're reading these scriptures, that's what your mind should be stayed upon. Yeah. You know, it says Galatians six and uh, six and eight. It says for if uh, that he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, and he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Right. So if you're thinking about this world, you're thinking about how you gonna overcome this world, and not thinking about the spiritual things like Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Or the kingdom, or, or being around brothers, man, you you gonna bug out, man, you because your 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 mind's not a state upon the Lord, right? That's right. It says, uh, verse nine. It says, "Let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not." So we gotta, we gotta, you know, we gotta build ourselves up. We got, we have, we have to have that armor, that armor, that full armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to to withstand the wild of this devil, man. Mm -hmm. You know. And like just the off the point what the brother was saying so you know this so this place don't get to us don't get the best of us man that's right you know that's right uh this is isaiah 33 and 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times mm -hmm. and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure so us having the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures of yahweh there's a sense of stability that we should have in our mind all right now of course things arise and happen but according to the scriptures, it says, be not afraid when sudden fear cometh, man. All right. Hey, the scripture says in the book of uh, Psalms, uh, let me grab it real quick. It's Psalms, uh, evil tidings. That's, uh, that's how it's quoted. All right. This is the book of Psalms. And bear with me, you know, I'm, uh, we're in transit, you know. But uh, this is Psalms chapter 112 and 7. It says, he shall not, it says, um, verse Five, a good man showeth favor and lendeth, he will guide his affairs with discretion. Are right, you mind actually reading this verse uh, six and seven for me, Bible? Uh, six and seven. It says, yeah. Psalms uh, uh, 112, six, uh, and verse six. Surely he shall not be moved forever, the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Mm -hmm. Verse seven. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Right, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. What's evil tidings? Tidings is news, all right? So he shall not be afraid of bad news. So let's something. Uh, so let's say that something arises in your life, or let's say um, your car breaks down. All right, you get a call from your woman, and and something's wrong with the crib, or or uh, uh, you losing money, or something. Anything, any bad news that you could think about. It says we shouldn't be afraid of evil tidings. Why is that? Because the scripture says in the book of Isaiah, it's the 22 and 6. You can hit that real quick. If you just slide up in my notes, it should be like the second precept. Gone. It says, uh, it says Isaiah 26 and 3, yep. thou, uh, thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, who 
whose mind has stayed on thee because he's trusted in thee. Right. So our mind should be in perfect peace. Why our mind is stayed upon the Lord. We know these precepts. We know that the Lord is in control. All right. We know that the Lord has everything covered, man. And that's what our faith and trust is in, man. The Lord put the spirit on us to serve him in the truth and sincerity. As long as we're doing that, the Lord is going to look out for us. Two thirds of our people, they're not serving the Lord, so they can worry. All right. They ain't pleasing the Lord. So they got a judgment waiting for us, uh, waiting for them. But for us, the scripture says that the hope of the godly is only good. So it doesn't matter what bad news arise. It doesn't matter when Esau comes down and this and that and the third. Because of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we should be in perfect peace. All right? And we should have a, sta a stable mind, man. You can go back to that precept. It says, uh, verse 7, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed. Trusting in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, his heart is fixed. It's unmoved. Trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It doesn't matter what you got to go through. Hey, the Lord is going to take care of it. And one shape, one way, shape, form, or fashion, the Lord is going to take care of it. And we don't know, we don't have to have, we don't have to know how he's going to take care of it, but we have to have faith and trust that he will take care of it, man. Okay? Is there uh, more that, of that? Uh, unless you got a point. Uh, I, got, I got something real quick, because that's right, man. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, Satan might come a different way, you know, at you. Like, and you don't know at that point in time, you don't know how you're going to, you know, overcome it. But guess what? If you trust in the Lord, you know, the Lord's going to give you uh, either a precept or, or, you know, or he's going to give you, maybe a brother might call you, you know, help you out maybe at that instant. Right. You know, you don't know what the, the Lord, is, you know, is omnipotent. He's all powerful, man. Yeah. You don't know what the Lord could do. He could have an Edomite might help you out, man. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to add, man. Hey, that's heavy because um, the scripture says, could I grab that real quick? Hey, the scripture says in the book of um, Philippians chapter 2, and, or Salaki. Um, or no, no, I ain't going to grab that one. I'm going to grab this one real quick. So like, I got a few. First Peter 5 and 7, it says, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. So we got to cast our cares upon the Lord. All right, he's going to allow the Lord to take care of it. All right, allow the angels to, the, the Lord is to send his angels to figure everything out. And a point that you was making, I was going to add to it. All right, because uh, ultimately we have the victory, right? <laughs> we have the victory over everything, man, through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So whatever trial and tribulation that you're going through, all right, you have to have faith that the Lord is going to resolve it. The, the, the solution is already, <laughs> and the solution is already there. Right now, at that point, you might not see the solution, and you don't have to see the solution. But the point is having faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. The scripture says, "Without faith, it is impossible to please Him." All right. So it's times where you don't see the way out, like we've been explaining through the Spirit. You don't see the way out, but you ain't got to, man. Do you still have faith that the Lord is going to take care of it? All right. Because if you don't have that faith, all right, then you're just going to drown in that that worry and that doubtful spirit, man. That's not the spirit for us to be in, especially. All right, in the times that we're entering into, man, shit ain't even hit the fan really like that yet. So how much more in these evil times, man? How much more when things are really rough and really bad? This is why we're practicing to have a stable mind now. So when things intensify, we won't be shaken by the trials and tribulations that is appointed unto us to go through. Come on, I got something real quick. Second Timothy 1 and 7. For the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, yep. but of power and of love and of a sound mind, man. And that goes to... Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 It says wisdom and knowledge should be a stability at a time And strength and salvation The fear of the Lord is his treasure man So <laughs> having a sound mind Is the best thing you can have on this side man Because knowing that, that uh, You're reading about these things that the Lord Delivered his elect man And if you're hoping to be part of that elect And you're doing everything necessary to, to you know Receive salvation why are you worrying man There's no point in you worrying Just let, And it brings me to this scripture right here Unless you got something real quick. Well, nah, you go ahead. I, I got it. It says, like, 2nd Ezra 14 and um, 14. It says, um, let go of the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now that weak nature. Right? It's all the things that you're going on this side, man. You know, everything that, that you think uh, you can't overcome. But if you think on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, he's got you the whole way. He, he's got your back, man. Right. Well, well, no, I was just gonna, um, I was gonna make a point, but you can keep going. God, it says, verse 15, and, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy onto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. So, man, like the brother, like the, the spirit, like we were saying, man, and just because it looks impossible, man, don't, don't, for your how about Shimmy I shy, nothing is impossible, man. For your how about Shimmy I shy, everything is possible, man. You know, like it says in Philippians. 
you know, so we don't got to worry. It says, uh, it says, verse 16, for yet evils than those which thou hast seen happen, for yet greater evils than those thou, uh, thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. It says, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age. Uh, well, the point is 16, really. I mean, look at the greater evils, man, that are about to come into this place, man. Second Ezra's the whole, uh, Second Ezra's 16, 15, 14, 13, you know? Right. All these things are prophecy. They're, this world is about to come to an end, man. Yes. And if we, if we are stayed on the Lord and we stayed that, we trust in him, man. That's all we need, man. That's and right. it's faith, you know? That's right. Yeah, because ultimately everything is going to perish on this side anyways, man. All right? Everything is going to perish, man. All right, the job that you got, hey, that shit, you ain't gonna be working that job, man. We're gonna be pilgrims, man. You in the crib, you got a house, all right, you worried about the bills and whatnot. Hey, it's gonna come a time where we pilgrims. You ain't gonna have that house, man. Then what, all right? Hey, and let's say, hey, let's say the Lord, all right, because the Lord is a full power and that can deliver us out of everything, right? But let's say the Lord says that, you know what, nah, I want you to go through this affliction longer. Then what? You gonna up and leave, all right? You gonna stop doing the work? You gonna stop serving the Lord because shit's tough? The Lord has proven us, man. To see if we gonna remain faithful and we practice those those things now all right with little things that we go through the scripture says that he that contemns small things shall fall little by little so we have to look at these trials and tribulations that we go through as as a training ground so to speak for greater things that are kind of gonna come the greater evils that's to come but we have to exercise these things right now applying these scriptures right now man you know this is i got I just real quick just go to ahead. point that you know you were saying you know just <laughs> you know, if we, we're going to lose the house, we're going to lose, you know what I'm saying, this job, man. And, and I got this perfect scripture. It says Philippians 3 and 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Yahweh Shai of Mashiach. It says, yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellent of the uh, excellency of the knowledge of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. You know, so all these things, all these tangible things, all these things that you see, you know, those, those are just for a moment, man. But things that we, we don't see are everlasting, man, like the kingdom, man. That's right. You know, our eyes are uh, our, our eyes are on the prize, you know? That's right, that's right. This is the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. It says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him, who had chosen him to be a soldier. So we're in a spiritual battle, right? We're servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So right the second chapter says, when thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So if you're looking to please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, if you're looking for salvation, all right, your mindset has to be, I'm a servant unto the Lord. I'm a slave unto the Lord. That is my priority. Everything else will be taken care of. As long as I'm taking care of what's needed of me as a servant of the Lord, he will take care of the rest, man. That's why I said no man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. So anybody that's seeking salvation, all right, fighting this spiritual battle, fighting the good fight of faith, you can't get entangled with the things of this world, man. You can't get your mind caught up with this and that and the third and so on and so forth. Because why? Then you are going to be pleasing the one that's called you to be a soldier. All right, that's giving you an opportunity for salvation being Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And it says this is the whole duty of man to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. So if we aren't doing those things, right? If we get caught up with the affairs of this world, the cares of this life, all right, to where we're trying to, uh, we're worrying about this and then the third, and then we slacking in doing our reading, our studying, and our service to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, then, then we could we could fall in jeopardy of being rejected by the Lord, man. All right, and the scriptures talk about how the Lord is a jealous power. In the book of Romans, I believe it's the third chapter, around the 16th verse, it says, "To what you yield your uh, members, servants to obey, uh, him servants ye are." Roughly paraphrasing, meaning that whatever you're putting your time and your energy, all right, into the most, that's who you are a servant of. So if you get caught up into, I'm putting all my time and energy into my family, into my woman, or into my career, or into this, into that, whatever the case may be, then what? You could be in jeopardy of serving another God, whatever it is, man, all right? Now, there's a parable in the scriptures that goes into how men were bidden into a marriage, and when they were bidden into a marriage, they uh, all with one consent began to make an excuse. 
One said that, oh, well, I've got a land to, I've got a piece of ground. Let me go take care of that ground. Then I'll come and focus on you and come serving you. All right, essentially what he was saying. One person said that, oh, yeah, I just married a wife. Well, let me go take care of her. And then I'm going to come back and serve you, man. Nah, the Lord ain't with that. No, you serving me, man. All right, you're serving of me. So if we are doing that, then, hey, we, hey, the Lord is going to bring down judgment upon us. And that's just the reality of the situation, man. You know, so we have to keep these things in the forefront of our mind, man. Really, that fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai should keep us in continual servitude unto Him. All right, I can lose whatever on this side, but one thing I can't lose, all right, is the is the the safe haven of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Salvation, man. That's one thing that can't be lost. Anything else can be replaced. All right, anything else the Lord can take away from us, and He can give it back as well. But we have to show the Lord that we have that mentality Like, hey, I'm going to follow you no matter what I got to go through, man You know? But it's proving yes. a friend That's what it is, man That's It's it. proving a friend Because obviously, let's say, for example You 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 meet a friend or whatever, right? I mean, you first you're going to see if this, this friend's down for you Right If he's got your back If he's going to throw down If he's going to throw hands If it's time to come right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the Lord is proving us, man The Lord, the, the Lord is making us better, man his, his, that's why his uh, law, statute, and commandments are as known as the uh, the law of life, you know, in Sirach 17 chapter. Why? Because they're nothing but beneficial to us, man. You know, we serve the Most High, man. The Lord, the Lord will give us everything. The Lord will give us all our wants, man. We just got to be focused on serving the, the Lord Yahweh. Yeah. Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, that's right. You said a, a beautiful point, man. And I'm going to grab the scripture. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37. All right. Psalms uh, 37. And I can start at the top, really. If you don't mind uh, reading it for me, Bob, uh, I got you. This is uh, Psalms 37 and 1. It says, uh, Fear not thyself because evildoers. Fret. Fret. God, it's a lot here. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right, so don't be uh, envious about what these niggas got and all right, these people that ain't serving the Lord and how they living and so on and so forth. Hey, the scripture says, don't envy them, man. All right? Because oh, hey, ultimately in the book of Sirach It talks about how they're going to uh, receive a judgment anyways man. Alright <laughs> But go ahead yeah, It says verse 2 For they shall soon be cut down like the, like the grass uh -huh. And wither as the green herb yep. It says trust the Lord Trust in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai And do good So shalt thou dwell in the land And verily uh -huh. thou shalt be fed Right right Remember it's saying trust in the Lord right But go ahead it says, delight thyself also in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Right. Delight yourself in the Lord, man. How do we Mighty. delight ourselves in the Lord, man? By doing this work, by partaking in this ministry, man. All right? Hey, doing this thing willingly, man. That's how we delight ourselves in the Lord. And what did he say? I'll give you the desires of your heart, man. <laughs> so if we're doing this, the Lord's going to give us everything anyways, man. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So this is a promise. Yeah, I know that you like doing this. All right. I know that you like women. All right. I know that you like having a good time, man. Hey, the earth, when it was created, it was called Aidan, which means a paradise. All right. This place was created so that we can enjoy it, that we can have pleasure. But we're in captivity. But your flesh still wants to just enjoy everything and have pleasure. So we have to, we have to, uh, Put our flesh under subjection to do the will of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. We have to suffer, man. All right, this is a part of the walk. But the Lord promised that, look, hey, you go through the suffering, all right? You suffer for me and you will be rewarded with me, man. But keep going. Kind of says, verse, uh, Psalms 37 and 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Right, it says, commit thyself unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Trust also in him, in him, and he'll bring it to pass. The point being is that we have to be committed unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai above everything else, man. All right? So, what's the point of worrying about everything else when it doesn't matter, man? Hey, in the book of Peter, it says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So, you knowing that this place is going to be destroyed, what are you going to invest your time and energy into? All right? What are you going to be focused on, man? It's, it should be the kingdom, right? That was it on that one. God, I mean, where, where, where are you how with Shai's wife, man? Like, imagine seeing your wife do some fuckery, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a uh, there's a scripture on it, I believe, in Ezekiel, how we were playing the harlot. Ezekiel 16 and you know? uh, like 22 and 23. Con, I mean, we should just, uh, you know, put that off, man, and serve the ways of Yahweh Bashim and Shai. The Lord has promised us amazing things you know what i'm saying amazing things man the curses are real as you see we're, we're suffering them now 
how much more the blessings that are about to come. Yep, yep. Hey, that's, you know? Jer that's Jeremiah, I believe. That's the 32nd chapter. It says, seeing it, that the Lord has brought all this evil upon us, so shall he also bring all the uh, uh, mercy that he promised us, roughly paraphrasing, or all the good things that he promised us, man. So we're going to receive these things. You know what I'm saying? But I got another precept, if I may. Uh, this is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse... Uh, 34 actually and 34 it says uh luke 21 and 34 and take heed to yourself lest any time your heart be overcharged with suffering uh suffering surfeiting surfeiting salakia and drunkenness and drunkenness uh -huh. and cares of this life right it says take heed to yourselves man all right the scriptures talk about examining ourselves whether we be in the faith Really examine, damn, am I serving the Lord? Am I in the spirit? Am I doing the things that are pleasing the Lord? Really getting in the mirror, asking yourself and being real, man. All right. Am I doing what I need to be doing? No, I'm not. Well, let me figure out what I need to do to fix it. All right. Let me pray. Let me fast. Let me do whatever I need is necessary to please my Lord so I can get salvation. But go ahead. And cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. Right. Because that's what Satan will do, man. He'll try and throw more things on your table, more cares. All right. Of this life, more attachments. And different relationships to drain you, all right, to drain your energy, all right, to take it away from you. How about Shimmy Abishai, man? The more attachments that you have into this world, the more that it can drain you. Now, what I will say is um, over time and through experience, all right, um, brothers learn their balance. Everybody that has a different balance. One brother can uh, do particular things and still be focused and in tune with the spirit of serving you by Shimmy Abishai, man. And another brother, he might not be able to do that same thing, man, all right? Certain brothers, they can uh, uh, they can run a business and, and have these different responsibilities and, and meet up with their family, but they still getting their lessons up. They still getting their reading up. They still doing their fasting and they know how to balance those things. You know, certain brothers just coming into the faith that might not be profitable for them uh, because what? They haven't built themselves up to be able to balance that out. So that's one thing that you have to keep in mind and do the change over time. But that's something to keep in mind because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we aren't being overcharged with these things where those things are overtaking us, all right, or consuming us to the point to where we are focused on the mission at hand, which is salvation and being a true servant unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. But you can keep reading. Cotton, if I can get this real go quick. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm it says uh, Ephesians uh, 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, preach strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. So like the brother was saying, Satan will throw shit at you, man. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere. Hey, you might go so ahead, like go ahead, you, go you ahead. might you might be reading you, you let's say for example, you you cool, you just you just woke up, let's say you over here reading, you put your 10, 15 minutes reading on, all of a sudden you you, you want to fall asleep again. Like what the hell? I just woke up from a nap. Like what is this, man? You know, the, but Satan will put little things and tricks in your in your way. To, to get you away from the scriptures and get you away closer to your power, man. That's right. Hey, yeah, hey, that's that's perfect, man. That's perfect. He'll throw, hey, he'll even throw uh, opportunities at you. Good opportunities, Hell man. Hell yeah. Jo hey, a job opportunity, man. You know? Like, it, hey, it's, shoot. I know brothers got testimonies on it, but it's been times where I know brothers have been offered certain jobs, man. Hey, yeah, we'll give you, we'll walk the band 30 bucks an hour to go do this and then the third. 60K. You know what I'm saying? Month. We'll give you a nice 401k plan. Hey, but uh, shoot, we got it. But you got to work on Saturdays, right? And that's the day that the brothers camp. And then what, what else he'll throw in there? You know, or you you might have to uh, travel. Your beard. You know, oh yeah, you might have to shave your beard. You know, he'll throw out those certain things to see, the, and 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 it's really a test to see what you're gonna care about the most at times. Now, certain brothers, all right, they might be able to maneuver with certain opportunities and still get what they need done. But you have to know that to yourself or your spirit. If you notice that this is hindering you or certain things are hindering you from serving you out by Shem Yahweh Shai is something that you may need to cut off. As the scripture says, it's better to go into the kingdom haunted and maimed, right? If that right eye, if that right eye uh, offend thee, pluck it out, man, as the scripture says. You know what I'm saying? So you have to know what, what you might have to cut off, man, all right, to make sure that you're still profitable unto the spirit. It might be too much on your plate, you know? To where it's like, all right, I need to cut back on this. I know that from experience in my time, man. It's been times where it's like I, I could have worked, you know, damn, I can make me an extra, uh, I can make me an extra two, three hundred dollars a week if I work this extra day and do this and that and the third. But then that's gonna take away from time for my reading. And I'm having a problem reading right now, so that ain't profitable for me right now. 
Let me get what I need done in the spirit. And then the Lord will still provide you with those other things. Hmm. All right. If, if, if it's need, if it's necessary, man, the scripture says the Lord will give every needful thing and do season and do season, but everything is not needful. And you have to know what's needful for your spirit. As the scripture says in the book of Sirach, all things are not profitable unto all men, man. All right. You know, but this to tie it into the topic of the lesson. All right. If you're entangled with those things, it's going to cause you to worry about them more when in reality, those are things that we shouldn't even be overly worried about, man. You know, where those are things where it's like, ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm worrying about something that's not even worry, uh, profitable for my salvation, man. You know, if I take care of as it's going to go into actually, we're, let's just keep reading. So like, uh, uh, Luke 21 and 35, a for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Right, and that's the point, man. We want to make sure that we're uh that we're um uh making sure that we're being worthy, all right, to stand before the Son of Man. And actually the one I was thinking about was uh Matthew six. Matthew six? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. It's right um, here. Matthew screen. six and uh twenty-six. Yeah. It says um Salake, give me a second here. Uh, it says, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Ye, your heavenly Father, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Right, so this is talking about birds, all right? Bird, hey, look, the Lord take care of, he feeds every animal on the earth, man, all right? <laughs> every animal is fed by the Lord, man. They ain't worried and tripping and... You know what I'm saying? Bro, so how Esau much eats, bro? Esau and he's the curse of this earth, mm -hmm. and he eats, man. You know, right. so lock here. Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, verse 27, uh, which of you, by taking uh, thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? It says, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow; they toil not, neither do they spin. It says, and and yet I say unto you. That even Solomon in all his glory were not arrayed like one of these. Right. So here it is, a, a, a flower, all right, a lily. The Lord makes it all beautiful, decks it out, all right. It's clothed with beautiful colors and everything like that, you know. And King hmm. Solomon in all his glory, he ain't even look as, as as beautiful and decked out as the Lord does a lily, man. So it's just applying it. Uh, and it's, it's saying, why should we worry about those things, man? All right. Just thinking about something over and over again isn't going to change it, man. All right. <laughs> You sitting there, you worrying for something about three hours, stressing, going in circles in your mind. What is that? It's not changing nothing. That's why it says, cast your cares upon the Lord. He cares for you. Really, in reality, man, hey, as soon as that worry comes, send up that prayer. Hey, it ain't in my hands. I send up the prayer. The Lord got to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and whoop up the band. Leave it at that. You know, the Lord will make a way of escape somehow, some way. If you don't see it right then, it's all good. You ain't got to see it. You send up the prayer. You got faith. All right. We have faith in that. That the Lord hears our cries, He hears our prayers, and He'll He'll fulfill all our petitions. You know what I'm saying? Then we ain't got to worry about it. The Lord, we don't have to worry. Is the point? All right, worry just adds more stress. That's unnecessary, man. But go ahead. It says verse. Uh, it says Matthew six and thirty. It says, Wherefore, if the Most High so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast on into the oven. Shall he not more clothe you, mm -hmm. or ye of little faith? Right, or ye of little faith. So the Lord is going into these examples of worrying about this, worried about your food, how I'm going to go, take care of this bill, how I'm going to take care of that, how I'm going to worry about eating, how my family, and this and that, the third. The Lord, the Lord's like, look, you got little faith, man. All right? You got yeah. little faith. You worrying about this and that, and the third. Don't worry. All right? Don't put that extra uh, anxiety and stress upon yourself unnecessarily, man. But go ahead. Like a perfect example, Peter, right? When he was walking on water, he was walking on water for for a little bit, and then guess what? The the, the uh, you know the waves came, you know the the lightning hit, you know, and then he was focused on all those different areas instead of focusing on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and he that's started right. drowning. That's right, and that's exactly what happens to men in the spirit when we take our focus off Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And start worrying about all the calamities, all the storms, the boisterous wind, or like going back into that uh, uh, that that scripture that the brother was um, going into that story, right? That's when you start to sink, man. So you have to recognize that. Are you if 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 you're starting to sink, all right? Maybe because you worried about other things, man. All right, then you losing your stability, man. 
But the Wadi Al by Shimmy Al Shah, because even in those times where we start to sink, he's still right there to lift us up. <laughs> that's beautiful, and that's man. beautiful, man. So it's at the end of the day, there's no there's no reason that a servant of Yahweh Shimei Awasha should be worrying. Once again, emphasizing the point, if you're not serving the Lord, then you got a lot to worry about, man. But us serving the Lord in truth and sincerity, all right, if we taking care of what we need to in the spirit, then the Lord got us, man. You know, but go ahead. It says Matthew 6 and, um, oh, Salaki, I forgot where, 32, Khan, for 32, it says, after, after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that he have need of all these things. Right, so the Lord already know that we need these things, man. He said the Gentiles, hey, they tripping and worried about this. And we're going to see that on a mass scale, man. All right? Hey, uh, majority of these American citizens are unemployed now. Hey, brothers, it's, it's brothers that are unemployed now, man. They ain't bugging out. They ain't worried, oh, man, how I'm going to feed my family? How am I going to do this and that? Nah, let the Gentiles, let these niggas worry about that, man. Khan, Talakia, I did miss over 31, and that's what it talks about. Mm -hmm. he, so I should just read it again, Talakia. Right. It says, Matthew uh, 6 and 31, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or with uh, wherewith all shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but seek ye the kingdom of uh, the Most High, and his righteousness. Read that again, Bakusha. It says, but seek ye first, Salakia, the kingdom of the Most High. Right, seek ye first, meaning this is the priority. The kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So make this our priority, and what's going to happen? Go ahead. It says, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, and all these other things are going to be added unto you. So when you serving the Lord and you making that priority, don't worry. Yeah, your bills going to be taken care of, all right? Your house, hey, yo, uh, yo, 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 you going to be fed, all right? You're going to be taken care of in all aspects. Even when it gets rocky, yeah, it, might, it might come a time or you know, where you get kicked out your crib, all right? Whatever the case may be. <laughs> But seek ye first the kingdom, and everything is going to be straight, man. That's essentially what the Lord is telling us, man. That's why he's saying, hey, don't be a little fake. Don't don't worry. Don't doubt. For what? I got you. You believe that, right? So then, hey, what the fuck are we worrying for? But go ahead. <laughs> right? It says, verse 34, take therefore no thought for the, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Mm -hmm. Sufficient unto the day is... The evil thereof that's right man so you ain't got to put all your time and energy worried about this and that and the third man all right that's pretty much the point you know not saying that you can't plan you can't plan particular things all right you can plan certain things and lord's will this goes down this and that and the third but we ain't got to worry all right this is the book of um uh, this is the book of uh philippians 4 and 6 it says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made made known unto the most high right now that scripture said be careful for nothing you look up that word careful it says to be anxious to be troubled with cares <laughs> all right to care for look out for all right uh and that's pretty much the point to be troubled with care so the lord's like look don't be troubled with cares of this and then the third but make your request pray unto the lord and leave it unto his hands man now it's another scripture in the book of psalms that says um uh, Psalms 55 and 22 It says cast thy burden upon the Lord And he shall sustain thee He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved So once again you cast your burdens Upon the Lord all right All your worries and this and that and the third And he's going to sustain you man He's going to take care of you He's going to make sure that you you stable All right this is wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and 15 To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom And whoso watcheth for her being wisdom Shall quickly be without care So us having this wisdom We shouldn't be full of anxiety Full of worry all right, Full of doubt and unbelief But we should be full of faith Knowing that the Lord is going to take care of everything man. You know And um, let me see if I had any more Read that you know, that's pretty much it through the spirit unless you have something up. Nah. nah that's it. Hey, spirit. so Lord's will, man, that was uh exhorting and edifying, man, lifting, you know, brother's spirits up to, to not getting that spirit of uh worrying, man, because really that's the spirit of doubt. You know what I'm saying? And stay locked into the spirit, you know, and keep that as the priority and the Lord will take care of the rest. I mean it's gonna and then plus it's gonna heat up and these times coming, man. It's gonna heat up. You see Jacob's trouble coming around right around the corner, you know. So like I like the brother said, Lord's will. This lesson was exhorting to y'all brothers, you know, and, and take you know, hopefully y'all take heed. I mean, cause 
<laughs> like it's crazy, man. You see everything moving, man. Through if you have a spiritual eye, you see everything coming to an end, man. Quickly and speedily, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Hey, and like you were saying, seeing that it's coming to an end. Hey, we should be in tune with the spirit because that's the only thing that's going to profit us. As the scripture says, uh, store up your treasures in heaven where neither moth nor dust uh -huh. doth corrupt. So this is what's important. This is what's valuable. Everything else is, not, I wouldn't even say secondary, man. Everything else is way behind the list, man. All right, so how about Shimmy I was shot, man. Hey, the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And after that, it is what it is, man, you know? So having that being said, Lord's word that was edifying, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hope of the elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.